Hallelujah. Glory be to the living God. Look, I want to share this with y'all. You know, I used to I used to sell dope before I became born again. Before I surrendered my life to the Lord. I was in the streets. I sold dope. That's what I did. I sold dope. I robbed people. You know, I I did a lot of ungodly things, a lot of evil things out there in the streets because I was a gangster. You know, I was in the gang and I was doing missions and doing things, you know, but I used to sell dope and I started selling dope at a young age, at a, a teen. I was a teenager when I started selling dope because, you know, I wanted to get me and my sister out of the hood. I wanted a better life for us. And the only way I knew was get out here in the street, sell dope and get us out of the hood. So that was my purpose of selling drugs to get out of the hood. And you know, to me, I was doing a good deed. My intentions was good. So to me, I was doing something that was good because I had a, a reason or a purpose, uh, good intentions behind what I was doing. But it wasn't pleasing in the sight of God. And that's why I suffered many things, got in shootouts and in and out of jail, you know. But my intentions was good and I was trying to do good things do good works and thinking that i was still gonna be okay with god someday you know i used to go to church even when i was a gangster go to church on holidays and i used to put money in the bowl you know easter sundays you know when the holidays came around i put money in the bowl but it was money from drugs or money that i done took from somebody but i still thought i was doing a good deed because my intentions was good i was trying to do a good work thinking that i was going to be justified in the sight of God but my friend that's not how it work we can't get into heaven by doing good works you know what that's called that's called self-righteousness when you try to get to heaven by doing good works according to your own standard that's called self-righteousness and that's nothing but filthy rags the Bible say that's not good enough to God that's not gonna get you into the kingdom of heaven just because you're a good person or you're doing good things or you have good intentions you know, the Bible say in Romans 10, 3, that being ignorant of God's righteousness and going about to establish their own righteousness have not submitted themselves to the righteousness of God. And God wants us to submit ourselves to his righteousness because our own righteousness is filthy rags. And a lot of people trying to get to heaven today by doing works, by doing good works, good deeds, thinking that this is going to get them into the kingdom of heaven. But it's the opposite of what I'm reading about in the scripture right here. You know what it say right here? In Ephesians 2. Verse 8. For by grace are ye saved through faith. Not of works. Lest any man should boast. This is the gift of God. The Bible say that we saved by the grace of God. That's what saves us. That's what uh, justify us. God's grace and his mercy when we come to a place to humble ourselves and, and surrender our lives to Jesus and believe on him and accept him into our life. It is through his grace that we are saved, not by anything that we have done. We can't do anything good enough to get into the kingdom of heaven. And that's why we need the grace and mercy of God. That's why we need the righteousness of God. The Bible says, not of works that any man should boast. If we could get there by our own works, you would have people today like just boasting like, you know, like they're doing already. I did a good, I'm good. I'm a good person, so I know I'm getting into the kingdom of heaven. I do good things. I feed the poor. I visit the sick. I go preach. I do great works. I do great things. So I know I'm getting into the kingdom of heaven because my works justify me. But that ain't what my Bible say. My Bible say not a works lest any man should boast. And you got people that's living in sin, haven't even accepted Jesus Christ, their Lord and Savior, thinking that because they do good things or good deeds, good works, that they're going to get into the kingdom of heaven. But Jesus said in John 10 that if you try to climb up, you got to come in by the door. You try to get to heaven any other way, you a thief and a robber. And people, in the book of John, I want to point out right here. In the book of John chapter 6, these people was following Jesus and they started asking, well, Lord, they say it right here in John 6. What shall we do that we might work the works of God? In verse 29, Jesus said, this is the work of God. This is the work of God. That you should believe on him who he hath sent. This is the work that God won't, requires from us. He wants to believe in his son, Jesus Christ. Have faith in the finished work on the cross. 
This is the work that God wants to work for his kingdom. Hallelujah. The Bible says without faith, uh, without faith, it's impossible to please God. Then you see in the word where it says, uh, faith without works is dead. You know what that work of faith is? That work of faith is believing in Jesus Christ, accepting him as your Lord and Savior, repenting of your sins and allowing the Holy Ghost to do this work, to bear good fruit through you. That's the great work that's going to get us into the kingdom of heaven. That's submitting to the righteousness of God. And you got people today that's trying to get to heaven by doing works. And my friend, that's the wrong way. You're climbing up a different way that the Lord told you to climb up. You got to come in by the door, my friend. Come in by the door because your good works, your good deeds is not going to get you into the kingdom of heaven. We got to have faith and believe. On the son Jesus Christ accept the finished work on the cross hallelujah believe to the saving of your soul submit ourselves to the righteousness of God submit to the Holy Ghost and allow him to bear good fruit through us to work the works through us we can't do it ourselves and we can't do nothing to justify ourselves my friend that's self-righteousness it ain't nothing but filthy rags y'all be blessed